Tess is eating flowers. Hi everyone, it's Ben from Trek It, and I'm out here with Harry behind the camera and we've got Tess running around so you might see her somewhere if she's not digging holes or eating flowers. Seems to be her new favourite thing to do. But we're out here today in Mortimer's Forest. So the views aren't amazing, but over that way somewhere is Ludlow and then we're looking behind us towards the Shropshire Hills out further out of the way. And in today's Inside Look video, we're gonna go over the Montane Proteum range. So Montane make a few variations of the Proteum. I'm wearing a Proteum jacket at the moment but we'll talk through the entire range in both men's and women's. So over the course of this video, we'll tell you what they are, what they're made of, and what we think their primary functions are, and what we think they're gonna be really good at. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. So first and foremost, what is the Proteum? So as I said in the intro, I'm wearing the Proteum jacket here, um, but we will explain the other variations of it as well. But essentially anything from the Proteum family is a, just a really comfortable gridded fleece so you've got a gridded backer to it, nice amount of stretch to it, and it's just really comfortable. It's sort of that ideal mid layer that you want to throw on, on a day like today, where it's, you know, probably about 10, 12 degrees, slight bit of wind, um, but as soon as we start moving, I'm nice and comfy in something like this. It's got a good amount of stretch to it, which means that you can use it for pretty much any outdoor activity, and it will move nicely with you. So climbing, scrambling, just general walking, and it's that sort of transitional piece. So on a warmer day, you can wear it as an outer layer, or on a cooler day, as a bit more of a mid layer but it's just a, a really, really versatile outdoor piece of clothing that you can throw on and kind of forget about just because it's comfortable and moves really well with you. So the Proteum is available in both men's and women's in a variety of colors in both the Proteum jacket, the Proteum hoodie, which is still a full, full length, so you've still got that YKK zip. You do lose the two zipped hand pockets, but gain a chest pocket, and because it's a hoodie, you also gain the hood. And this one, you do have flat lock seams throughout, so it's potentially a little bit more comfortable if you're gonna be wearing it when you're being super active. Proteum also comes as the Proteum sweater, which cuts back on pretty much everything and does what it says on the tin, it is a sweater. So you get that thermo grid fleece and that's kind of about it. You get a little Montane logo and it's just comfortable, potentially a little bit more casual or that sort of very heavyweight base layer thing that I mentioned before. Still get flat lock seams, so it's nice and comfortable next to skin. A good amount of stretch, but that's about it. Very cut back on features. There is one more item in the Proteum range, both in the men's and women's, and that is the Proteum pull-on. We haven't got one today because Harry accidentally got two jackets, just in different colours, so we didn't want to just do two different jackets. But essentially the pull-on is very much like the jacket, in the sense that you get a standing collar, you just have a sort of sternum length zip on it, and no hand pockets, no chest pockets, so it's kind of a hybrid between the sweater that I've got on now and the jacket, which was the green one that we were in first. No, the blue one. The blue one is the blue one. Right, so what's it made of? Well, the Proteum is made from Montaigne's Thermogrid fabric. Um, if I'm reading the script properly, it says that it's great for next to sink comfort. Um, should actually be next to skin. I just apparently can't type. So next to sink or next to skin comfort. Um, the Thermogrid backer on it essentially, clues in the name a little bit there, is grid back. So it's almost like a, a waffle pattern on the inside. Harry will get a close up of that in a minute. Um, what that does is it increases the surface area of the fleece a little bit, which means that it is better at sweat wicking and also slightly warmer because you've got all those little channels between the grid and it then sits nicer and is really comfortable next to skin. So as I said previously, this fabric is really rather stretchy and comfortable. So it does stretch really well. So it moves really well with you. And that thermo grid fleece is just a nice balance of something that's really warm, but also nice and lightweight. So this is that sort of layering piece that you can throw on, like I've got today over the top of a base layer, or underneath the shell, things like that, to get a little bit more warmth out of it. And it's just designed to be really breathable because it's a fleece, um, and it's just super comfy. First and foremost, it's got a nice standing collar on it, which when zipped fully up, I can't because of my call here at the moment, but it does sit nice and tight around the neck, so it's nice and comfortable just to sit there and seals in a lot more warmth. You get a full length, one-way YKK Vizlon zip. Moving down, you get two YKK zipped hand pockets that are mesh lined. So you get a little bit more ventilation, but also the fleece runs in front of it so that you can still warm your hands up in these pockets. So around where you'd be wearing a rucksack hip belt, so down and around the pockets, things like that, you get flat lock seams. So it's nice and comfortable. So it's not gonna dig in on top of that hip belt and press in and be a little bit uncomfortable. And as I said, the fabric is particularly stretchy thanks to the weave that they use. So super stretchy and just pings right back. How 
How does the protein range fit? Well, this protein that I've got on today is a size large. For reference, I'm six foot three with a roughly 43, 44 inch chest, and it fits fairly slim. So Montaigne chose their active mountain fit for this, which kind of give you a clue as to where they expect you to use this piece. But really what that means is it comes out a little bit more like a traditional slim fit. So it's quite fitted in the body, sits nice and close, which means you don't get any sort of dead spots or gaps. So it's a little bit warmer because you're not trying to heat up any excess space. It is, however, on that slimmer side. So if you're usually between sizes, especially with Montaigne, I usually find that they are a little bit slimmer than some of the brands out there. If you're between sizes, you might want to go up a size for a more comfortable fit. But because of the stretch of this fabric, it will still fit. It just might be a little bit snugger on you. You know, I didn't want this too tight today and I'd normally be a size large and I am a size large in it, so it works well. Where do the proteums sit in the layering system? Well, it is primarily designed as a mid layer, so it will be generally over the top of a base layer. Some of the others in the range, so say the pullover or the sweater, you might wear as a very heavy duty base layer in very cold conditions, but the majority of the time you're probably gonna be wearing it like I am today with some sort of base layer underneath. And then on those warmer days, works really well for just having that as your, your outer layer and you might have your shell in your bag like I've got over there or on cold days, you're probably gonna be layering up on top of it as well. And that's where the fit of this thing really comes into play because it is slimmer, it goes nicely under a shell or under a bigger, thicker insulating layer if you need it. So that about wraps up the Protein range. As I said, this one is a Protein jacket, but if you'd like to shop all of our range of sizes and colors in both men's and women's across all of the Protein family, there'll be a link up on screen. Harry's also gonna throw up another video on there that we'd like you to check out. And as always, we appreciate any comments and likes that you have. Anything that you want to see us do in the future, we'd love to hear about it. So if you pop a comment down below, we'd love to hear it. Great, I think that's all from me. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.